الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسألونك عن الأهلة قل هي مواقيت للناس والحج وليس البر بأن تأتوا البيوت من ظهورها ولكن البر من اتقى وأتوا البيوت من أبوابها واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون وقاتلوا في سبيل الله الذين يقاتلونكم ولا تعتدوا إن الله لا يحب المعتدين واقتلوهم حيث سقفتموهم وأخرجوهم من حيث أخرجوكم والفتنة أشد من القتل ولا تقاتلوهم عند المسجد الحرام حتى يقاتلوكم فيه فإن قاتلوكم فاقتلوهم كذلك جزاء الكافرين فإن انتهوا فإن الله غفور رحيم وقاتلوهم حتى لا تكون فتنة ويكون الدين لله فإن انتهوا فلا عدوان إلا على الظالمين صدق الله العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا ألهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور أنفسنا اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى فتقبل منا فإنك خير المتقبلين آمين يا رب العالمين Dear brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Tonight we are proceeding with the 24th section of Surah Al-Baqarah As I have told you more than one times this Surah Al-Baqarah, which is the biggest and the greatest Surah of the Qur'an, is divided, is divisible into two parts. First part comprising of 18 sections or 152 ayat, in which the main address was to the Bani Israel, to the former Muslim Ummah. The second part that started from the 19th section, and this will go on till the end of the surah. In this part, only a very brief reference was in the 19th section to the Jews. And then in the 20th section, there was some reference to the pagan Arabs, to the idolaters of Arabia. Rest of the whole surah is addressed now towards the Muslims, the Muslim Ummah. And there are four threads of subjects or topics which are interwoven, wound round each other. That is why we feel they are broken, but they are not broken. Actually, the threads are continuous. The four threads are two concerning the Sharia of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And here we'll find that the blueprint of the Sharia of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the divine law of Islam, that is prepared in this part of the surah. But this sharia contains two parts. Firstly, ibadat, modes of worship. We'll find a brief reference to prayers, salah, then the detailed discussion about psalm we have studied last night. Today we are going to study a very detailed discussion about hajj and its rites and rituals. The second is Mu'amalat, the social affairs of the community. A few references have already come regarding the law of equitable retribution in cases of murder, regarding, you know, inheritance, the preliminary instruction about inheritance, and so on. But now you will see in the sections that we will be studying today, repeatedly, the ayat will start, Yasalunak, Yasalunak, Yasalunak. Oh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they are asking you. They are asking you. They are asking you about the orphans. 
they are asking you about wine they are asking you about gambling they are asking you about the menstruation the period of, of women etc etc because you know now it was a society of the muslims their own society and now you know all the rules and regulations are being given and there was an urge in the people themselves to know what we should do so question after question and we shall be getting the answers the other two strands or threads of the topics they are the two aspects of jihad fi sabilillah and here we find that the jihad now has converted into qital for 12 long years at makkah it was jihad it was not an armed conflict it was jihad bil quran wa jahid hum bihi jihadan kabira but now you know this jihad has turned into qital going to war for the cause of allah fighting the kuffar who were obstructing the way of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so qital fi sabilillah and for qital you always need funds money because for the armor also and all the other needs for going to war you need you know money so infaq fi sabilillah these two strands qital fi sabilillah infaq fi sabilillah and these four strands are wound round each other or interwoven and we shall find that once one subject is discussed then the second one then the third one then the fourth one and so on so they seem to be interrupted but actually they are continuous yasaluna kamil ahilla here the same question they are asking you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the new moons qul hiya mawaqit lin nas tell them they are for reckoning the periods of times for the people this is the calendar the natural calendar that allah subhanahu wa taala has given to whole of humanity sighting the moon you can see whether half of the month has passed or the third of the month has passed so it is actually the natural calendar that allah subhanahu wa taala has provided yes qul hiya mawaqit lin nas wal hajj and especially because hajj was the most important phenomenon in arabia and it was performed in definite months in definite on definite dates so this importance of the calendar was mostly for hajj wa laysa al birru bi an ta'tul buyut min zuhuriha and this is no charity this is no virtue that you enter your houses from the backs it was the wrong practice of the arabs of bakka that once they took to ihram for hajj and they came out of their houses now if there was some need to go back they they thought that we can't now enter our homes from the front doors so they used to climb the of the hind walls and then jump into the houses because we are now in ihram we can't enter our houses so this was actually their own self made ideas so quran is telling us it has no basis wa laysa bi rubi an ta'tul buyut min zuhuriha there's no virtue that you come to your houses from their backs walakin al birra man ittaqwa the real virtue the real charity of the person who has real taqwa who is really pious who is really god fearing who really wants wants to save him from all evil watul buyuta bin abwabiha no harm if you have taken to ihram but if there is need to return to your homes you can enter your homes through the front doors wa taqullaha la'allakum tuflihun but have taqwa of allah have regard of allah subhanahu wa taala so that you can prosper 